As I promised in part 8, in part 9 we would like to discuss how we can use CSUM and C Sharp, assigning a content type to the file that we just uploaded and following that definitely we would like to assign some metadata to that file. So in this video we start by reviewing the setup, then we summarize the requirements, we code the solution and finally we run and test the solution. The setup is very simple. I have enabled the content types for the library called documents and I've already added picture content type to that library. There is one image called image1 in the temp folder that will be uploaded to this library. And after that I would like to assign the, some metadata and I will use the code that I put together in part 8 just to save time. So if you want to see the code on how to upload the file to SharePoint library, you can simply refer to part 8. Let's see the setup. So here is my SharePoint site and here is the documents and if I go to the library, library setting, if I scroll down you will see I have added picture content type to the list of content types in this library. And again here you can see the extra columns that they are used in picture content type. So comments, date picture taken, keywords, and preview image URL that we are not assigning anything to this for this video. Now here is a summary of our requirements. The code should upload image1.jpg to the documents library, the code should assign the content type to picture, and the code should set the metadata as shown in the table. So content type is going to be picture, title is going to be swimsuit, date picture taken yesterday, comments, viewer discretion is advised, and keywords nice comma swim. But apart from the field title we also need the field internal name because the CSUM code accepts the internal name. I cannot pass the title and expect the code to go there and find the right field. To find the internal name you need to use SharePoint client browser. That you can simply download it and run it from your machine. I just put the link to the SharePoint client browser for both SharePoint 2013 and 2016 in the description. So I run the SharePoint client browser, right click, run as administrator, and I need to add the site to the site collections. So come here, home, and one thing to remember, when you select the link, select the link to the site collection. Subsites are not where the content types are defined. So I just copy it, right click, add site, paste, get your username and I just put the password, click OK and if I expand it I will find the content types, expand and under content types I can find picture and on the picture fields and here are my fields. So comments, it has internal name called comments, date picture taken, is image create date. That's a name that we need to use in the code. So if I go back to my PowerPoint slide, here are the field titles and here are the internal names that I'll be using in the code. Let's code it. CSUM 101 part 8, this is where we stopped the last video, so I just continue with this. The file path is going to be image1.jpg library is the same thing, site URL is the same thing, file path I'm not changing it. The only thing that I need to do after the file is uploaded to the library I need to get a reference to it. So I would say file, I call it uploaded file equals the value that the add function returns. And right before I call the execute query I also want to load the content types that have been used in this library. So I would say ctx.load and I call it my library dot content types. This code by now uploads the file, gets a reference to the uploaded file and also loads the available content types in this library. Now it is very easy. I just need to define content type my content type equals my library dot content types 
and give me the one that the name ct dot name equals picture and because I know it returns only one value just give me the first one the rest of the job is just assigning the values so it's going to be uploaded file dot list item all fields here is going to be the field internal name equals whatever the value it's going to be I guess I need a couple of them so first we need to assign the content type content type is just a property called content type ID and that's going to be the content type that I got the reference to it and I just need to get the ID of it the other one is going to be date picture taken if you remember the date picture taken the internal name is image create date so I call it image create date and the date is going to be date time dot today dot add days minus one so that it assigns the yesterday date to it and ID needs a little bit of correction okay the title is going to be swimsuit comments will be viewer discretion is advised keywords will be nice comma swim and finally we need to update all the fields and run execute query so ctx dot execute query it's time to run and test the solution so let's get back here control f5 I click on upload file and it says upload completed I go back to the site I click on documents the file is uploaded the title date comments keywords everything is there and the right content type is assigned and here is uploaded picture thank you for watching please like and share the video stay tuned for the future videos